right uh, so uh, good morning uh, krishnan unni huh? good morning sir good morning so unni from god's own country huh? yes, kerala sir. yes sir so congratulations for you know making it in this uh, ssb uh, ssc tech it right yes sir it entry okay so that there's a special entry you know which uh, i think they've just started um and uh, yeah this success comes to you after uh, four uh, screen out attempts i understand yes sir right so that it makes it that much sweeter huh? so uh, let let's uh, start with this congratulatory note as to you know uh, how did you get interested in services and what all attempts have you uh, given so far <clears throat> sir uh, interest in in the initial parts uh, as i already told you in the nda and all i never appeared i got a call letter for t yes but i never went for it so okay. during the 11th and 12th time i was not aware and uh, you know the connectivity i'm from a village uh, called yeah. puliyur in kerala so the connectivity the you know the communication over there was very low and the awareness was extremely low there was no ncc in my place there was no uh, nobody was preparing for uh, you know nda or cds or any exams like that but the moment i went to uh, my college uh, mm. sarang what do you do yeah. yeah so the moment i went to my college uh, srm chennai so after reaching there everything changed uh, so from second year onwards i said I, i went outside the hostel so i got all the you know uh, internet connectivity then i happened to see all the geopolitics defense related things so at one point of time i had this thought that i am from a very poor country because i only saw my village Mm-hmm. but the moment i went to city and uh, a city like chennai uh, everything changed my pers- perspective for the entire nation changed uh, i got to know that this is such a great nation and the the defense forces is one of the biggest reason for that so i always had this interest to join that and i it, from srm itself uh, there is a ma'am called minakshi arya uh, whose husband was in ota and she also lived in ota so she got us many opportunities to two times to go to the passing out parade of ota chennai so again happened to see that and my many of my seniors are in defense forces so again communicating with them all these factors together sir uh, made me made sure that okay up from third year itself i didn't go for placement even though i was pre placed uh, in the five i didn't took any placements i didn't sit for placements i only had to prepare for defense forces that's how uh, it started sir right uh, so um, <clears throat> so how did this uh, iconic happen i think you know the uh, you got into uh, an academy straight away into the iconic course right yes sir yes sir yeah so how did sir, that happen uh, uh, and you know how was the journey in the iconic sir iconic uh, i didn't come to uh, ssb part initially uh, initially as i told you four times screened out that means i'm totally you know disapp- i mean not disappointed i would say i thought okay uh, and i had a leg injury also at that time uh, a very big leg injury i didn't know whether i'll recover or not so i went to gate gate coaching so uh, the quality i got from gate uh, made me believe that an academy will be the best in in whichever field it is so mm-hmm. i took cds cpf also and ssb also iconic i knew that from gate itself that the okay. quality i'll be getting will be good only so i straight away went for iconic sir. iconic ssb mentorship okay yes sir yeah so uh, otherwise you know you were exposed to an academy uh, through the gate preparation right yeah for a very long time i have been associated with uh, gate so- preparation right so how did this help you you know iconic ssb part sir actually uh, it was not coaching usually what happens is that when you go to internet uh, i believe there is not lack of any kind of you know information regarding ssb if you go to youtube and type ssb you will get uh, i would say at least 10000 videos regarding how ssb works it's, it's not a big deal to get that what actually one requires is that just to point out where i am going wrong and sometimes for the f- past four times i was not able to do it i didn't know where i was going wrong uh, so exactly someone to spot that this is the wrong thing that you have done and this is a personal data so you don't need to prepare or study anything so just improve on this factor and you will be good to go so that's the you know uh, point that i wanted so that's why i went came to iconic right okay. and how was the experience it was it was absolutely great sir the group of people that i got was very minimal so it was five to six people so the communication was good Uh, even if it's in the gd or gp or whatever exercises that we have done uh, together so in all those we, we got enough opportunity and uh, all the time uh, you are watching as you know you are making notes and you know you know you are kind of you know preparing how to give, to give a feedback to us so always you you get a proper feedback uh, where exactly you did good where exactly you did bad and in the future where exactly you could go bad 
so all this information do help you to uh, you know crack ssb ssb is definitely not a you know there is no simple one trick solution for ssb so it's always uh, you know uh, just to know where you went wrong so that and incidentally in fact uh, from your batch around uh, the two of you have uh, been successful i think other one is pravin soni is merit for the air force met entry right so that's great uh chal okay now let's let's go to the uh, your uh, attempts you said no you were screened out earlier so what all attempts you made and what was your experience could you really make out what went wrong and you know uh, in all these attempts or uh, whatever has been your experience and then how could you improve it uh, in this last attempt where you know you got screened in and straight away in your first stage to uh, chance uh, you got recommended Uh, sir as per the screening as i told you four times consecutively getting screened out i already took a different path in life uh, gate then this iconic happened in between and you told me uh, to make the speed, speed you know the speed at which i speak at 0.9 and currently now also i am speaking at 0.9 this is not the normal speed that i speak and that is one of the reason why i am you know fumbling in between so 0.9 that really worked out sir I, i i deliberately went into the narration i never cared about the time that much because i know that uh, i will be you know the story that i have written is very small so it won't take much of time so i took each and every word make sure that uh, the the word that i'm telling is you know very much uh, audible to the person is sitting nearby clear yeah yeah clear, clear in yeah. all yes so that's mm-hmm. one thing that i did uh, and other than that sir i you just told me just to enjoy the process i was just enjoying the process throughout the journey no because i i could you no know, make out you know uh, through the interactions and various assessments that we do in the iconic uh, that you know uh, you had um, everything that it takes to you know uh, make it through i mean that's what my conviction was uh, the only thing which i told you was that you know you were speaking a little too fast and that is perhaps uh, like you mentioned you know uh, when as a um um prospective candidate you know you are um, preparing for so many competitive exams and watching so many videos uh, you know you watch at what uh, speed you know was it that 1.5x or it's 2x 3x sir it's 3x oh my because see in an academy sir there is a limit of 2x after 2x you cannot go so okay. i had to i had to go to chrome then i added another extension to the chrome so mm-hmm. that i could uh, add a, another widget so which can help me to go to more than 2x speed so i went into 3x speeds to watch all my gate lectures oh my god so uh, anyway i mean that uh, it helps to be a techy that way yes you no know, your it uh, background as perhaps you no know, help you there but yeah you know the point i'm trying to highlight you know for the other uh, viewers is you know it is you know when you uh, are expressing yourself it should be at such a speed where the other people in the group can easily understand and clearly understand what you're saying so the, in your case you know the speed appeared to be a little faster and, and that's what i advise you rest of the things appear to be uh, reasonably uh, okay now so how was the experience this time right you know uh, stage 1 you said it didn't have much of an issue uh, but how many candidates were there you know since it was a different entry right sscit for the navy um, so how was the stage 2 sir uh, 84 people are reported and 20 got screened in so okay. stage 2 so sir i felt that is reasonable yeah yes sir uh, and i believe sir the 20 people that i got over there i, I got to communicate with everyone and uh, everyone was doing really well uh, like almost everyone was a working professional always everyone had a you know package of 10 15 lakh and everyone was doing good i believe it's because of the it entry uh, the quality of people came over there was very good and because of that also the recommendation rate was also good so four people got recommended out of 20 yeah so almost good. 20% recommendation rate so uh, that entire that thing felt really good sir and the four days as you, as i have already told you you told me to enjoy i was enjoying i was playing table tennis after the thing i was playing pool all the night uh, mm-hmm. i learned pool after going to ssb bangalore only so mm-hmm. that was going on and all the test i didn't took any stress because i i was not that desperate to uh, get into the defense forces at that time mm-hmm. I, i i was really ambitious i really wanted to do it i was very motivated but desperation was not there so it become a little bit easy for me to you know enjoy those five days rather than being in a stress of selection absolutely absolutely so any uh, specific experience if you can go through your side gt and the interview 
uh, so saik uh, actually i didn't follow any normal rules that i used to see in youtube i didn't put uh, you know uh, i didn't had as prepared sd uh, i just went over there and straight away i wrote whatever came to my mind uh, i didn't give much of negative points like it usually it said right uh, five positive two negative i never did any of that i just gave an sd that was written by myself at that 10 minutes i never had any preparation no templates nothing and uh, wat i didn't you know follow any rules i i know that there are some rules you should not use should would and rules uh, but i didn't think whatever came to my mind i just wrote it over there and srt i didn't write very you know uh, big so usually when it comes to uh, for example uh, you your sister's marriage is going to happen uh, you don't have money uh, what will you do borrow from my friend so only one sentence i wrote i didn't you know uh, make a huge sentence and all so it helped me to complete 52 srt uh, 58 wat uh, the two word i missed in wat is because i didn't know the meaning of the words so that's the reason why i missed it and uh, tat was obviously you know uh, good sir the pictures were very you know, normal pictures only i could relate with my life and interview was actually i think sir that was the best interview i have ever given uh, it went very long uh, i believe i'm i'm 100% not sure but i believe it's definitely more than 1 hour and somewhere between 1 hour and 1, 120 it went really long and uh, most of my interview was around my knowledge only about my it knowledge about physics uh, physics and maths was you know very important uh, in my interview and uh, then it came to my geopolitical knowledge geography and i was doing an ma ma in political science so question regarding that so all these things went very long uh, and gto sir i i didn't perform really great and i was not bad also i uh, i was in average uh, in the gd i initiated twice uh, gp i couldn't perform really well rest all task i was in the you know middle part i was not the first person to go in i was not the last person to go in i was somewhere in the middle uh, doing the stuff uh, solving the issues giving ideas uh, that's a simple thing sir and interview obstacle race command task and all were you know very easy only uh, so i completed it so that's nice and what about the conference sir conference uh, uh, there was only one actual question to me uh, which was like uh, are you really motivated to join the defense forces because you are already going to iit uh, you already are preparing for brc drd exams like that and out of all you are preparing for ma political science and you want to do civil service at the later point of time so uh, didn't give us a picture that you are you are very keen on joining the defense forces so that was a question that i it came to me sir and my answer was that i'm ready to give up all of this uh, if i could make if 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 the that was a worst case scenario that i was preparing for if the best is coming to me i'm ready to give up all the rest so it was that's very nice see what uh, see uh, from the interaction that you have had is you know you have been very clear as far as you know your thought process is concerned you know your priorities are absolutely clear so hence there is no confusion in your mind you know that that makes a lot of difference so either is this way or that way uh, you know you are clear right and uh, these some of these things are really appreciated and of course you no know, the decisions that you take or the kind of you know the stories you write uh, they based on you know uh, whatever experience you've gone through uh, the kind of exposure that you've had the kind of values belief systems etc and and all those things they definitely reflect particularly if you are you know uh, being very free and you know uh, being natural about uh, your responses a lot of people get into you know those templates aisa karna chahiye aisa karna chahiye something like that which uh, i didn't find in you and uh, that is what uh, was striking right and i told you as much uh, that i don't find any uh, reason Uh, for you not to get recommended as far as the stage 2 is concerned since stage 1 you have had uh, these uh, issues of uh, other people not probably understanding what you have been saying uh, so that is uh, something very um, i mean uh, you were relaxed because you know you had that faith in yourself you know you were confident about yourself this is very important right other day i was interviewing one I, you know he says sir i was uh, very chilled out right so yeah. when you are chilled out you know the precondition is that you have to be confident to be chilled out yes, or you have to be totally uh, you know non bothered ki kuch bhi ho jaye acha hoega theek hai nahi hoega theek hai it doesn't matter right so you know but basically being chilled out uh, is only possible uh, once you are at ease with yourself Okay, so now uh, tell me a little bit about uh, this SSC IT entry. 
Yes, sir. sir I How did you get interested in And if I if I remember correctly, uh, you weren't very keen on Navy. You know, though you are from Kerala, you weren't very keen on Navy. So how did how is it that you know you got interested in Navy? Yes, sir, initially, uh, you know, my grandfather worked for the Oman Air Force. I happened to go to Oman and see the you know NATO base was there at Masira Islands at that time. So I happened to see that all. So from initial part itself, I wanted to join the Air Force. So Air Force was you know the priority for me. Mm. Uh, and all the entries that I went was FCAT, uh, three times FCAT and one time for uh, Navy only. Mm. But uh, when this opportunity came to me uh, of SSCIT, uh, this is a place where I was very, exp- I do have expertise in. I have been doing this for a long time. I'm not working, but I have been doing this research and projects, making projects and uh, coding, uh, GATE, uh, DRD, ISRO. Anyway, I was preparing for a government exam itself. So everything combined together in this one entry, uh, like, you know, the best of both worlds. Uh, either I wanted to become a DRD or ISRO scientist, or I wanted to become a you know a defense officer. So both of the things is compared together. Like I, I could use my expertise in IT as well as I am a defense officer. So this is something uh, you know straight away great opportunity. Even though it's short service commission, but it's it's one of the greatest opportunity you could get. And the amount of training that you have is only for four weeks. So literally from July to if you go to, to academy at July and August you will become a officer sub lieutenant straight away. So that's a very yeah, special. So- I think you know that is basically that's why you know uh, through this interview what I want to you know convey to the uh, other experiences also it's a great opportunity. You see, IT as far as the discipline is concerned, uh, the services need uh, IT professionals, right? And uh, in fact, more and more um, things are getting automated. The coding, the the IoT, the AI, all these things are going to play a very important role. Uh, in various uh, fields, you uh, know, uh, across uh, the services. So Navy has taken this leap. Uh, Air Force is also doing its own way. And as far as the Army is concerned, I happen to listen to uh, a, a former, you know, uh, GOCNC training command uh, of Army, who highlighted that, you know, in future, and they would be perhaps looking at uh, inducting people literally, you know, uh, professionals from the IT field, particularly, right? They could be, Army could be inducting these people literally for a specified period of years. So let us see, I mean, it is a niche field and which is uh, very much, you know, competitive, right? You, you cannot have uh, maybe the old school uh, things. So you have to be really, you know, current. And that is where, uh, you know, opportunities like this for personnel or for the you know candidates who are in the IT field and like you said uh, these people those who came came for this uh, particular entry you know they were all uh, professional people right yes sir, yes, sir. yeah so the, one, this... one thing is that uh, in the IT entry uh, almost everyone that came to the entry you know it was very very knowledgeable that's what I felt I went for FCAT also I went for the general executive also I for the IT but when it came to IT, I felt more than FCAT and the other one, these people were more secured and, you know, uh, doing good in your life. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, we, in fact, uh, there are some other guys also who are training with me and uh, uh, drawing a very healthy package, right? Uh, I think I put Kirsch or uh, somebody yeah. you knows, uh, got a package of 18 lakhs, I mean, which is uh, uh, huge. I mean, for uh, this thing. But yes, um, uh, experience uh, ought to be looking at these opportunities, particularly those who are in the computer science IT field. Uh, These are uh, great times uh, to be into this and into the services because the growth in the services is going to be uh, really great. And, you know, once you have even even if you're in short service, uh, the moment, you know, you complete your short service tenure, your demand... um, your demand in the civil streets will also be very high and with, with the kind of exposure, you know, the discipline and other things. And of course, in services, you're working with the niche technology, state of the art equipment and things like that. Yeah. So any anything else, you know, you would like to uh, tell the viewers or aspirants? Uh, sir, I would say that if, uh, if someone is in NDA, other things, I, definitely you could say better because you are a mentor but uh, i would say if someone is in uh, nda or 12 couldn't make it and uh, you know is trying to uh, make a good life in defense forces later on maybe for cds or other entries 
i would suggest them to go in the field of it uh, or btech in computer science or psc in computer science the good thing is that if by any chance uh, in the worst case possibility if you couldn't make it still you will be having a safe secured and uh, you know a very high paying job in your hand uh, it's not that money matters a lot but yes. sometimes it does so you, no, you definitely safe, i mean it does it does matter basically there is a demand for you know the it engineers it discipline Uh, yes, in in general, in engineering, you know, the demand is more, and the training is a little more systematic, more um, I was uh, methodical and more professional. In fact, I was just interviewing one of uh, the air marshals uh, the other day, uh, where he was talking about his uh, experience as a fighter controller. Right. Uh, so he he was saying that as a uh, when he had gone to um, uh, you know preside over the passing out of these fighter controllers um, out of 18 uh, guys uh, 18 uh, officers in the fighter controlling uh, training he says everybody was an engineer whereas it does not mandate uh, one to be an engineer you know that's a, fighter controller is a sub stream of uh, adam branch right so adam will say okay anyone can join it so the good part of being a technical guy is that you you have an option to join any field right be it mm-hmm. flying be it technical be it non technical and you can still do well right so that is yes, um, that that's a take away uh, particularly in these times you know for those people who are in the computer science it and those who are you know uh, going to opt for uh, their uh, professional higher professional studies to choose these uh, kind of disciplines uh, preferably of course no interest also matters right so the um, any last words for um, the viewers uh, nothing much sir but the thing is that just enjoy the process uh, like you told me uh, mm-hmm. don't be desperate uh, desperation makes it very difficult for you to get in uh, if you are very chill everything else or around you will also be very chill it will be very easy for you and you will be happy at the end of the day uh, right now even if you don't make it in the medical yeah yes one more thing sir uh, if you're going for the ssb uh, make sure you have done a small medical before that itself uh, yes. just you should be you know be assured that you are good to go because the medical process is actually more strict and see i got stressed during the medical sir not the ssb part till mm-hmm. ssb was easy as per me because it's it more stressful things comes after the ssb uh, the medicals the procedure i had to wait for 10 days in command hospital so there you you, sh- you should be safe uh, make sure you go for a medical before jumping uh, straight away into you know ssb it will be great it will be more peaceful yeah certainly i think that's a important point you are making because you know, there are certain requirements which are uh, spelled out in the notification itself right so those are the things where you don't require a very detailed uh, what you call uh, medical but at least you no know, on the cursory this thing one ought to be clear as far as those basic uh, medical parameters are concerned and, and that these things are given uh, so i mean that's a very good suggestion right and uh, so th- uh, that said uh, only uh, is been a pleasure you know uh, interacting with you all these um, days or maybe a few months if i may say so Uh-huh. Yes, sir. More than a few months. Uh, I actually I didn't mention one thing uh, about the confidence part. Uh, one of the reason why I was not desperate is because I was, you know, very clear with gate and I had a career. And before the gate, if you remember, I called you uh, regarding the same, like, sir, whether I should go for the SSB or the gate. So you you told me go for the thing that's more certain. Uh, the the uh, so I just keep that one particular SSB, and uh, now I'm kind of secured for the you know for the upcoming few years. So. it really helps sir absolutely absolutely no that is that's where i am saying you know a little bit of um, guidance uh, would go a long way you know and being in iconic you know one gets to uh, talk to the ssrs who have been uh, having a lot of experience in the service as well as in the fields outside perhaps right so uh, they may be in a position to understand your requirements understand your bent of mind your interest levels and your you know uh, future uh, options since you know we've been interacting uh, with you on one one on one basis so i i do remember now that you are uh, mentioning this yes you know you did ask me you okay, sir gate exam is there my ssb is also there so i told you okay ssb to aur aayega you know you got 
you know, three to four SSBs you can get in a one cycle, right? Uh, yes, sir. You know, FCAT and, you know, SSC Tech, uh, then Navy and things like that. So three to four, one can definitely get. So it is, and all those gate attempts and all, they are definitely more important. And since you are inclined uh, for a more technically oriented job, so I think this has come as a boon to you and I'm sure you, know, uh, you will make the best of it. So wishing you all the best, uh, Unni. Uh, and uh, uh, thank you very much. All the thank best. You, sir, thank you. Ciao. See you. Bye.